No, that's not true. It is true. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. 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 Oys, oys, oys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, distinguished guests, and my mother. All eyes for his most respected and esteemed worthless. I mean worthiness. Judge, you got to want to be presiding judge of this case here. Goldilocks 
It is not a story of a criminal, but it is a story of a rather a sweet, innocent little girl being accused of a crime. She did not commit a crime. She could not commit because she is the most sweetest, most lovable girl in the whole entire world. And I am sure, after hearing the testimony in this case, you will have no choice but to declare her not guilty. Well, that wasn't any better than the first part. Then, then look at those results. Action! Number three, page he was honourable. Good. Who make me a minute star? Muffinet, you may call your first witness. Your Honour, as King Jury, I would like to call Mr. Papa Bear to the stand. Papa Bear, to stand.
Mr. Wombat, and I don't understand that you're the father of your father's witness? No, Your Honor. For you see, our surprise witness that will show Mr. Bear is a liar! You can't call me a liar! I'll show you, you shyster! Order, order, and cut the music! <laughs> Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, you must step down. Mr. Wombat, you may proceed. Right. 
Is that what happened in the morning of the break-in? Now, Officer Clorox, 
Is it, isn't it true that on the morning of March 24th, mm. just a half an hour, you arrived at the bears? Mm. You were at Rapunzel's Hot Donuts? Mm. Well, yes, I I did stop there for a quick bite. Uh, in fact, officer, I was sworn statement by Mr. Howard that Howard Fillings that you have eaten 13 dozen donuts in the space of 30 minutes. Well, I did. I also, I also have a copy of a receipt. Isn't that true? Well, I didn't keep track, but I'm not really... Isn't it true or not? It's true, it's true. I'm addicted to donuts. I'm addicted to donuts. And, and isn't it true that you were filled with cream filling, chocolate filling, and those little coconut thingies that you weren't even able to button your pants on? It's lies, I tell you. It's all lies. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> you must step down, officer. See, is the child over here? No, Your Honor. <coughs> okay, okay, don't go so nasty. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call its next witness. How come we keep having up all these witnesses? <laughs> chicken wings, six pounds of coleslaw, and ten pounds of the baked beans. I was really surprised and asked if she was throwing a party. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she could eat all the food herself. She then asked me to mind business and said that she was going good with this. She then asked. Speaking of food, do you know of any place around here where a girl can get a decent breakfast in the morning? I told her that Rapunzel had on donuts, to which she said, No, I hate donuts. What I really like in the morning is a nice, big, fat bowl of porridge. Any place around here that sells decent porridge? No, ma'am. Open <coughs> over here. I'm also you have to do without porridge, to which she said, don't sweat it, Porky. I usually get what I want. One way or another, I get my porridge all right. I did hand in the bill for the food she ordered. Gee, spam boy. I seem to be a little short on cash right now. Um, tell you what, I'll pay you later. So long! I see better. I will after three minutes. Stop, team, stop, team. I see the danger. And is the woman who took your burgers and talked to your porridge in this courtroom right now? Yes, she is. And would you point her out to the court, please? And, and that's her. She's the body of and that's her. It's lies, I tell you. It's all lies. Order this 
squad. Harder in the squad. Hey, Melvin. Hey, Melvin, that's my job. You're no, just a hire him. Demonstration show. Then, what you telling me by the temperature of the porridge? Can you explain what really happened? No, I couldn't, but I could demonstrate what I discovered. Well, very well, Doctor. Proceed. Uh, well, Papa Bear testified that this porridge was perfect, but if you taste this porridge, you can see why this couldn't be true. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting! It's rotten! <laughs> exactly, it is rotten. Huh? Then why did you make me taste it? You said to do my demonstration. Now, the fact that the porridge has gone rotten and it's making you sick proves that the porridge was in fact too hot when it was served. Otherwise, the filthy germs and bacteria could not have grown. Now, if you'll taste Mama Bear's porridge. It's even worse than the first. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Because Mama Bear's porridge was cooked too cold, it has all these little green bugs in it and slimy things that smell bad. Therefore, we have proof that Mama Bear was lying about his porridge being perfect. Aha! <laughs> uh, Mr. Wonka, are you okay? You don't look well. Your Honor, you object! Mr. Wonka is trying to get the jury's sympathy by pretending to be unconscious. <laughs> Sustain! Mr. Wonder, stop and shut pretend to be unconscious and call your next witness. Your Honor, the defense calls 
is. Just has one more witness, Your Honor. Goldilocks, do the stand. Goldilocks, do the stand. <laughs> now, Goldilocks, I know this will be very hard for you. But would you mind telling what really happened on the Mario March report? Well, I was walking along, minding my own business. <laughs> When I saw this cottage, it was like real pretty and all. So, did you see the best cottage? Did you go into it or do something else? I, well, um, okay. So I went into the house. <laughs> Like her folks have. <laughs> 
us. What? What about the chair that was destroyed? Look, I don't know nothing about no chair. I never even seen no chair. First thing I ever heard about the chair was when I was at the station house and the cops kept asking me about the chair. All right, Goldilocks, why do you smash the chair? Chair? What chair? I didn't smash no chair. It's lies, I tell you. It's all lies. So you've never seen a chair at the Bears Cottage? No, I don't know what happened to that chair, but I didn't do nothing to it. I'm being framed. I tell you, I'm being framed. Thank you, Miss Ford. Sweet little Goldilocks, your witness, mean, nasty, criminal district attorney, you know, Muffin Head. You don't know object? That big goof can't call me names? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you both are big goofs. Now continue. <laughs> okay, Goldilocks, you say you never saw the child in Brooklyn. No, I never sat eyes upon it. Now, now you're on. At this time, we would like to recall. So, Chief Detective Sergeant Clorox to the stand. Yo, Clorox, come on back. Mother, Mother. At this time, the people would like to present Exhibit Number Six Seventy Eight, the chair that was found smashed at the Bears residence. Officer Clorox, do you recognize this one? Yes. That is the chair that Bill just brought in. No! <laughs> Have you ever seen this chair before? Oh! That was the chair that was destroyed at the scene of the crime. And where was this chair located? Next to the dining room table. And in your expert opinion, as an official police person, could anyone have eaten at that dining table without seeing this chair? Oh no, surely not! Aha! Got you now! Goldilocks sat in that chair and destroyed it in a fit of malicious vandalism. Your Honor, this tune we would like to recall. Marvin, the big bad wolf, to the stand. Marvin, Marvin, dude, man, we need you back here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did you? 